Hi, good morning. I'm so sorry if you're hearing construction. There's nothing I can do about it. They're doing the road outside. Okay, so does this give academic casual? Because today I'm going to the National Library. It's the only time I can go. It's an office holiday today. And the library isn't open on weekends. So today is the only day I can go on a normal national holiday because the library will be closed but since today it's an office holiday like this is a vest top and then i'm wearing like ripped jeans is it giving like i'm from the academia but i'm on my off day no i gotta do my hair So it's gonna take me 52 minutes to get to the National Library. <coughs> I'm dreading the drive. Traffic yet of the day because it's already alert level one. We don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna go with the flow of the world, or in this case, the traffic. I mean, it's the only day I can go. Weekdays are really the only days I can go. Number one, because it's the only time the library is open. Number two, I mean, that's, that's the only reason. <laughs> and even if I go on a different day, it'll also be a week day. And it'll also be this traffic, so... Might as well make the trip today. And there are... I don't know when the next office holiday will be for me in my office. So... I was also hoping to visit the CCP Library and Archives. It's a nine minute drive away from the library. And I was wondering if I can walk it. But then Google Maps says it's nine minutes away by drive but 37 minutes away by walk i don't know i don't know how that computes so let's see but i can walk it i i don't know i don't know how far away it is i'm not a manila girl so we'll see i made it um i'm just i parked like a few blocks out i parked in the Kalo parking but I made it and I'm walking to the National Library. Luneta Park is here, over there. Maybe I can drop by later. But right now I want to go to the library because I'm late. It's 11 a.m. I had to make a reservation to get in. Uh, there's no specific time, but I want to spend my time inside. I don't even know if I can browse. I just reserved for like the study room. I mean, if I can't browse, maybe I'll just read and look around, but hopefully I can browse. Like, there's a section I can browse books. So they asked me to take a picture with like my signature. There was like a picture area. I think it was to register my details. And I asked if I could get a library card. And then they said I should inquire upstairs. So I will inquire if I get a library card. But they did take my pictures.
Oh my gosh, there is a little library here in Lonata Park. Like right in front of me. How cute is this? Is there a book inside? Let's see. Matuto mula sa dakilang guro. Oh my god. There is a picture. Oh, it's a it's a it's a broken cover. But what else is here? Reader's Digest. Okay. We also have programs and services for cottage, small and medium industries. Oh my god, I wish I brought a book with me to put here. Is there something going on over here? Okay. It's just a bunch of Reader's Digests, but who are you guys? But it's just a bunch of like Reader's Digests. I wish I brought a book with me to put here. But isn't this the cutest little setup? So here's the gist with the National Library. You're not allowed to browse the bookshelves anymore. Like they don't do that anymore. They don't allow the public to browse their bookshelves. You go there, there's a study room and you can study and you can read. And if you want to borrow a book, you can browse their OPAC, like their computerized library system. And then you list down the books that you want to borrow, bring it to the counter, and then they will get it for you. I don't know if this started before the pandemic or it started because of the pandemic. I'm guessing it's because of the pandemic. But then I asked them if they would ever like go back to like normal library system where you like, you know, peruse through bookshelves and they said probably not. This is probably the new system that they will put in place because it's more efficient. So now I am going to try to visit the CCP library and archives. It's just a nine minute drive away from National Library. Kaya pala 37 minutes by walk from the library to the CCP complex is because it's, you know, a long Ross Boulevard. I mean, that's the only way. Turn right. I mean, that's the only way to get there. So yeah, I guess it will take you 37 minutes by walk, but I guess by drive, it's better. Or if you bike, you can bike there. I hope it's open. I called yesterday if they're open to the public and then they said yes. So let's see if they will be open today. I was able to get in. They said it's open. They had to check if it's, um, you know, they can accept visitors, especially because of COVID. So they let me in.
sexy Tolstoy's Nikita's childhood. Okay, so I was able to go inside and I'm so happy. There it is. Actually, if you want to go to the library and if you want to visit, thank you. If you want to visit, you have to schedule. That's what they told me. But the thing is, yesterday I called the man and they didn't tell me to schedule. Like I called to ask if for the to visit. And then they said, yes, just come here and present your vaccination card and then do the Safe Trace app thing. Hold on, let me get in the car. So as I was saying, I super duper duper love the CCP Library and Archives. I don't know if the selection is better than the National Library. I feel like the National Library of course has a bigger selection Turn because right. it is a bigger then, library. But the thing is we can't browse or peruse through bookshelves. Like you have to search through the computer and then give the librarians your selections and then they will look for it for you. So you really can't like see what they have. Like it's not the type of library that like, oh, I'll just see what they have today and like, you know. But with the CCP library, you can peruse through the books. It's a small, like it's just one floor. It's barely even a floor, it's like one room. But there's a lot of books and they have a Filipiniana section, they have a world culture section. Uh, well, of course, it's all, it's gonna be culture centered. So a lot on films, literature, but they also have novels. They also have um, books about theater, sports, dance, arts. It's amazing. I really, really love that library. They do close at 3 p.m. They close really early. It's already 2.30, so I had to leave. But I stayed there longer than I did in the National Library. I only stayed for about an hour and a half in the National, li National Library. Actually, when I got to the, to the to CCP, they had to check if I could enter, even if I called yesterday to ask if I could. They said that usually you have to reserve a slot by reserve, I mean you have to call and tell them what time you're coming, how many you guys will be, so that they can see if the seating area can accommodate you. Because currently, it has like a relatively large seating area. Well, not super, not as big as the National Library. It's pretty spacious, but at the moment, I think they're doing some inventory and stacking like books, whatever. So the seats are occupied with books. So they have check if they can accommodate the number of people who visit but fortunately for me i'm only one person so they allowed me in the ate guard there said nah, next time if i want to go again i should call and if i'm bringing people i should tell them how many they're bringing and to see if they can accommodate us I just had the best time. I saw a lot of Russian literature, English literature. I also was able to find a lot of Philippine lit that you know you can't find anywhere else. The thing about it though is you can't check anything out. Like you're not allowed to borrow books, but you're allowed to read them there, take pictures or whatever. So I think they have a photocopying section because there was a sign that says photocopying section, but at the moment I don't think it's like available. So I highly recommend if you're gonna go visit the library bring your phone just take pictures or scan it with your phone or whatever for the national library you do have to reserve a slot there is a link in their website i will put the links and the phone numbers down below everything you have to call from ccp to national library everything is in the description box you do have to reserve a day before like a slot a study slot so i really highly recommend the national library for students i personally did not know about it um like the study area before because i'm not a manileña i guess if you like studied in taft or you know live around the area you would know about the national library because a lot of people are like doing work there while I was there I was reading and people were like in their laptops and you can connect to the Wi-Fi they will give you Wi-Fi password you're like your own Wi-Fi password and then they will give you like they will make you register and give you like your own stuff like when you have to uh, browse through the old pack the library search engine you have to log in with your code and your like login like they will give you a login username and password 
so that was fun. I didn't try borrowing anything from the National Library because I really did not have anything in mind. Like, I'm so happy I got to visit libraries today, two libraries. It was a fun day today. I really, really, really enjoyed it. my day by myself.